click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study next graph which is unit ramp function. First of all, we will understand what you mean by ramp function, then we will study about unit ramp function. Basically, ramp function is nothing but it is the one of type of graph which is having one slope. So, let us study how to represent or how to plot that ramp function. It is quite simple. This is a unit ramp function. It is not a unit, basically it is only a ramp function. The reason why it is not a unit? Because if the slope value is 1, then you can say that this graph is unit ramp function. Otherwise, it is only a ramp function. If the slope value is 1, then it is a unit ramp. Means what? Your amplitude of this graph will increase by 1. If your a value is the 2, then the amplitude of this graph will increase by 2. How? So, let us see. At t equals to 0, if you consider or if you take a value 1, this a value is 1, then this function, first of all, how to represent this function? It is like r of t is equals to slope into its time because this graph always depends on the slope as well as the time. Now, this graph is only available for t is greater than equals to 0 and for t less than 0 amplitude is 0. Means what? If your t value is greater than equals 0 means from 0 onwards your graph is having some amplitude but for t less than 0 means in the negative part your amplitude is having 0 value. Now, how this graph increased or changed its value by changing the a value. So, let us take one example. So, let us say if your a value is 1 for slope that is a is 1. Means what? This graph is a ramp function. Now, if we change the value of slope that is right now I have considered the slope value is 1 then your r of t value changes its amplitude by 1 1 1. Now, how? Let us see. For t equals to 0 means what? I have placed I have replaced this t value by 0. Similarly, in this function also, this t value also becomes 0. The, so, total product becomes this amplitude is a and the t value is 0. So, total answer is 0. So, can I just look at here? At the t equals to 0, if you consider or if you take any value of a, then this graph always produces t value 0. But now, let us move on to next. For t equals to 1, the r of 1 will be 1 into 1. That will be again 1. Means what? Right now, for t equals to 1, the ramp wave is having amplitude 1. And now, for t is equals to 2. This, I will write r of 2. And now it is 2 into 1 is 2. So, you can see as the time increases accordingly your amplitude also increases. Now, at t is equal to 0, amplitude is 0. At t equals to 1, amplitude is also 1. For t equals to 3, 2, amplitude is 2 and so on. Means what? For t equals to 3, amplitude is also 3. So, you can see this amplitude is increased by 1, 1, 1. Just because of slope is having value 1. If the slope value is 2, which means your amplitude will be increased by 2. Means what? For t equals to 0, it will be 0. But for t equals to 1, that amplitude will be 2. For t equals to 2, that amplitude will be 4 and 6 and so on. Now, you can obtain this ramp wave using unit step also. How? I will tell you. If you multiply t with a unit step, then your graph will always produce a unit ramp function. 
Thank you for watching Ikeda. Stay tuned and subscribe Ikeda for next videos.